Um, you know, not not much to to start with, other than the fact that um, you know I thought our team came out and swung and played hard in this game. Um, came up short. Um, you know, came up came down to one play. Uh, it wasn't just the last play. You know, there was there was a lot of plays in the game that um, you know you wish you had back as as coaches and players, and just that's what happens in a game like this. Um, but I told the guys I'm proud of the way that they played. I'm proud of the way they competed. And, um, you know, for the older guys, the seniors, proud of what they've done for the program. But, um, you know, for the younger guys, you know, and the guys that are coming back, it's an opportunity to learn and grow and see, um, you know, what it takes to win in the CFP. All right, we'll go to questions. Raise your hand, please. We'll get you a mic. All right, let's start right here on the front row on the right. Uh, Tim May, Little Monroe, uh, CJ, on that last drive, it was just do whatever it takes, right? I mean, you took off running uh, several times there in the fourth quarter. Uh, just what, what were you thinking there near the end of that drive and stuff? Uh, obviously, uh, to try to set up the field goal. Yeah, first and foremost, uh, I just want to uh, give all glory and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, amazing just to be out there in that atmosphere and just have the opportunity to play with my brothers again. And um, Yeah, I mean, I'll just try to leave it all on the line. Uh, I don't think I don't I really, honestly games like this. I mean, you're lost for words. I mean, come down to one play, but honestly, it doesn't come down to one play. So many things that line up uh, to, to those plays. But that last drive, man, um, I seen how much time we had with timeouts, and um, I knew that we could do it. And I tried my hardest to get us down there. I mean, I got to maybe split somebody else, uh, make another move, try to just get a little more. Um, but I mean, I tried my hardest. I think I left my heart out on that field, and. Um, of course, I mean, it's something that uh, is heavy on the heart and um, it's going to be tough. Uh, but, I mean, I'd rather – I don't want to go out there with anybody else. I love my teammates so much that we put everything on the line and um, I would never want to do it with anybody else. So, um. hey, Ryan, real quick, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., was he ruled out protocol-wise? I mean, uh, concussion protocol, couldn't go back. Yeah. And then number, and then a lot of people are going to be asking about that uh, first down call after – uh, CJ got down to the 31 yard line. I think it was a, a run to Hayden. Uh, what what were y'all thinking there? What what did you think could two could timeouts pop? left add and to yeah. the field goal? Uh, if we didn't have two timeouts left, um, and you know they were they were going zero. So if you split one, you could come out the back end there. Uh, two timeouts left. You know any any couple yards right there can add to the field goal, and, and that was the idea. Uh, didn't quite execute it as well as we would like to, but um, I, I wouldn't change that call. It's a good call. Great call. All right, we're going to go second row on the aisle right here. Hey, Ryan, obviously a game of attrition. Both teams lost significant players in this yeah. game. Um, and then in the third quarter when you, lose, when you lose Marvin, he was in such a rhythm, he and CJ together, very difficult to guard. When he comes out of the game, how did it, did it change things for you? Did it change the way you were calling plays? It was just a pretty big adjustment, I'd imagine. Well, uh, we lost Cade early in the game, which really uh, sent us into a little bit of a tailspin uh, and a couple groupings. Um, but I, I just thought that Xavier and, and Mitch and even Joe stepping in did a nice job. It's something that we've had to work through all, all season. Um, you know, to say that losing Marv didn't have an impact on the game, it absolutely did. Um, but what this guy did and the way he competed in, in the second half with all those things, all those things coming at him, um, I just can't say enough. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. Of, of the way he played. It wasn't, well, he's not the only one, but he's sitting right here, and he's the quarterback of this team. And just the way that he attacked this game, um, I, mean, I, I couldn't be any prouder of the way he did that. Because like you said, that we were missing some guys out there. We were, we were trying to figure it out. And um, you know, in the biggest stage, played one of his best games, in my opinion. All right. Hey, Ryan, uh, did you get an explanation for them picking up the, the targeting call? And what did you make of that? Uh, I, I was told that um, it was not targeting, that he didn't take a shot to, to, the, um, to the head, uh, which is hard for I, – I, I didn't see it, so I don't know. But to, to get a concussion and not get hit in the head, um, I, I have to see the replay. Um, and, and they said that it, it happened after he got hit. But uh, I'd have to take a look at the video. I, I wasn't able to see the replay. CJ, what you were hoping – to do offensively in this game, was this what you thought you guys could do? How well did you feel like this offense played overall for this game? Um, I mean, I think 
at the end of the day, we were we had the mindset of we're going to let everything hang. We're going to go out. We're going to fight as hard as we can. We're going to swing as hard as we can. And I feel like we did that. Um, we were very efficient in the past game. Uh, the run game started rolling a little bit. Uh, got a, a lot of positive runs. Um, and I felt like we were very efficient. Um, just a couple of those drives where uh, maybe that I missed a read or protection broke down, I got sacked, um, whatever the case may be. Um, maybe those were the reason why we lost. I mean, no one really knows, man. So uh, we got to get on the film and see what, see what went on. And um, But I'm proud of my guys. I can never uh, – I can't say too much about how we fought. Like, it was time and time and time after again that we just kept swinging, kept fighting, kept swinging, kept fighting. And, I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, uh, of course, uh, you're going to have some regrets on certain plays and wish you did this, wish you did that. Um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, it's a man in the arena. Um, it's hard to do what we do. It's hard. But it's a blessing at the same time. So you got to be joyful in these type of moments. Um, of course, I'm not sitting here smiling happy, but, I mean, God, God is he's still amazing to me. He still blesses me, blesses Coach, blesses Zach in so many ways. And, I mean, um, of course, you want to win things like this, and um, this means a lot to us. I mean, <laughs> me, me and Coach Dave, man, like, we get up early every morning on the phone constantly, whatever we can do to win and put smiles on people's faces. And, I mean, it's, it's tough. Uh, my mom, she goes through a lot. His, his, uh, Coach Dave's wife goes through a lot. Um, my family, people from home. But I wouldn't regret anything. I wouldn't take anything back. And... Um, I'm, I'm blessed to have a coach like Coach Day. I'm blessed to have my teammates that I have, and I wouldn't want to go out there doing anybody else. Next question. All right, we'll go back here in the front row. Yeah, Zach. Uh, tonight there were there were times when it looked like the defense just had a real had a grip on those guys, you know, and uh, and, and basically it slipped away and stuff. Just what are your thoughts now as you reflect defensively about the way the defense played tonight? Um, I mean, yeah, you know the. Uh, you know, 42 points, you know, we can't let up 42 points in a game like that, especially with the offense playing the way it is. But, you know, you know, like, like CJ said, uh, the plan was to go out there and just let it all out. And, you know, we definitely did that. You know, you can't say we didn't play hard. You know, there's definitely some some plays that, you know, we definitely could have won back or could have executed better on, you know, could have made tackles and, you know, could have just, you know, been in a better position. But, you know, we played hard and, you know, I'm proud of my guys and I love my guys for doing that. Ryan, there's... We understand there's no moral victories here. You're here to win, and that's what matters. But you had talked about all these weeks about swinging. These guys are using that phrase, come out and swing and, and take your shot. In that way, how do you feel about this team that you didn't win, but did you swing? Did you take the shot that you wanted this team to take? Yeah. Yeah, like you said, it doesn't mean anything if you don't win, though. Um, and I think that's probably what hurts the most is that when you put that much work and that much energy and that much time into something and, you, and, you, and, you, and you, you're right there and you just um, you don't get the victory. And this is, a, this is a performance business and you win or you lose and, and we lost the game and that's, that's just what hurts to our core. Um, and that's, that's what it is and we're here to win and it didn't happen. But that being said, yeah, we came out. We, we uh, guys were flying around. We were competing. Um, in the end, we came up short. So we'll have to I fig figure out how to get it fixed in the off season, so that we're here again. You know, we're on top when it comes to it. But you know, this is this is the way that we need to play football. And um, you know, you can see the the energy and passion on the sideline, and you can see the way guys are playing physical. Um, I mean, listen, that, that's that's a good team. You know, I mean, let's, let's call for what it is. They're defending national champs, undefeated. You know, they're they're a good team. But uh, I don't think there's one guy in that locker room that doesn't feel like we should have won the game. And I think, again, that's, that's a, a part of this thing that, that is going to sit in our stomachs for a long time. All right, we just got time for one or two more. Let's go right here. Ryan, uh, already a lot of people praising your game plan, the efficiency. Can you, can you share some of the keys, some of the things you saw in the Georgia defense that enabled you to be that effective tonight? Yeah, I mean, I can tell you, yeah, this guy right here, you know, they're all, they're, they're, they're all good plays when you have good players. And, um, you know, we, we worked hard. And, I, and I'll say this. And I'm not just saying it because he's right here, but the, the work that was put in over the last month by, by CJ and just input into the game plan, get in front of the team, the leadership, you know, all of our guys. And I thought the, the receivers, I thought the old line was unbelievable this week, just the way that they worked. Um, and uh, everybody had, had some input on this game plan. You know, I'll, I'll say it. 
uh, Keenan Bailey, uh, one of our assistants, went in and did a study. We had 1,500 reps over the last month, 1,500 reps going into this game, 1,500 reps in bowl practice to get ready for this game plan. And um, I thought our guys executed really well at times. Um, again, there were some calls that I absolutely wish I had back. But in the end, um, you know, game plans are only good by the guys who can put it on the field. And, yeah. Uh, um, I'll be his um, his guy. Um, it's a great game plan. I mean, without the right plays, you can't make plays. So, I mean, uh, we all have jobs. And Coach Day did a hell of a job. Coach Wilson did a hell of a job. Coach Key did a hell of a job. Coach Dennis, Coach Fitch, um, Coach Alfred, um, Coach Fry. So many moving pieces. And even the defensive coaches did a hell of a job. I mean, Coach Hart, too. Coach Hart. Yep. Yeah. Um, really, everybody. So, like, we really were dialed in on what we were going to do. And I feel like we did that. And Coach Day called a hell of a game. Um, our, our game plan was superb. Uh, we have so many, like we said, we have 1,500 reps. So it's like when we were out there, it's kind of like you knew it was kind of going to happen. And um, when you're playing like that, I mean, you're playing free. You're playing, you're having fun. I, I think that was one of the most fun games I've ever been played in my life. That probably was the fun game, most fun game I've ever played in my life. And it just sucks that it has to come down like that. But, I mean, God's plan is, 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 is something that you don't really understand in the moment. It's something that you, you really won't understand maybe ever. But he thinks greater than us. He knows we're greater than us. And he does greater than us. So, I mean, that was his plan for that to happen. And um, Georgia's defense, uh, offense, I mean, they fought too. A hell of a team, great team. Uh, Coach Smart, uh, Coach uh, Muschamp, D.C., um, did a hell of a job. Um, but I, I think we should have won the game, of course. I definitely think we should have won the game. So, um, just got to lick our wounds and keep going. But I mean, Coach Day did a hell of a job, man. His leadership and even though people would talk and talk and do this and do that and it doesn't, like he just keeps showing up and when you see a man like that that's a true man a man in the arena and uh, really everybody on our team we didn't splinter we didn't we didn't turn the eye to eye and start pointing fingers when we lost we we owned up our mistakes and we just kept fighting we kept swinging like our culture is and I mean I wouldn't want to play for anybody else we'd play with anybody else so I mean uh, because they <laughs> hell of a coach so. We got time for one final question. Anyone? Yeah. All right, last question right here. After that, Ron, I hate to bring this up, but I mean, oh, go ahead. Bottom line is, uh, what really bit y'all in the end was deep pass. You know, the passing and stuff. It, just like a few other times this year, but you know, especially does that bug you to, to your core a little bit? <clears throat> I mean, uh, it's a team loss, you know, and, and I thought. Um, you know, the defense played gritty at times. They got that huge interception. They, they, they fought. They kept grinding. They had the fourth down call come back. They got the negative play. They, they forced a field goal. Um, so, uh, again, all, all, all we were talking about was just swinging as hard as we can. Um, we did give up some explosive plays again. We did. And it was something that we spent a lot of time talking about um, is avoiding the big play. Um, I think the difference was in this game, it, it didn't demoralize us in this game. We kept, we kept swinging and fighting, and we just – kept going at it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, call for what it is. You know, if, if we're going to win these games, we, we can't give up those big explosive plays. They, you know, you just, you know, you, they're hard to come back from. Um, but there was still a lot of a lot of positive things out there. All right, we'll end it there. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Right, thanks, guys. Thank you.